Hello and welcome to this video from Jimlishack. I'm going to show you how you can allow users to create articles directly from the front end of your Joomla site. You're looking at a brand new Joomla site here, and with the help of one really useful extension, your users will be able to log in here and create articles for you. They don't have to go in the admin, they don't have to know that the Joomla admin area is slash administrator, they don't have to jump through any of the security hurdles you may have set up. Using this extension, you can make it much easier for your users to contribute to your site. The extension we're going to use is Shack Article Manager from Joomla Shack. I'm going to take you through the steps you need to go through in order to allow your users to submit content to you. First, we are going to need a menu link so that people can click the menu link and go to the article screen on the front end. I have a menu link that's called Submit Articles. The menu item type is Shack Article Manager. And for the access level, I've set it to Registered so that you have to have a user account in order to create content on the site. The next step you need to do is to create the user accounts if you haven't done so already. In this case, I have an author user who is at the author level. Author is one of the very lowest levels in Joomla, and it's really designed for just this use case. The users will be able to come along, log into the front end of your site, but not the admin, and create content for you. Let's take a look at our Joomla site again. At the moment, nothing is visible. There's no way to submit content to the site. But if you log in, you should now see a menu link up at the top of your Joomla site. Click on Submit Articles, and this will be a list of all the articles that you've created, which is nothing so far. On the right-hand side, click on New Article, and you can give it a name. You can give it some body text. You can create the alias or the URL. And you can change some other key settings as well, such as the category, the tags, and the language if you're running a multilingual site. Click Save. And the article was already added to the site. At the moment, it's set up so that it's not published by default. So you can go into the admin area of your site. And if you want to, you can look at it and publish it. So not only are you allowed to set it up so that users can submit content to your site, but you're also allowed to moderate it so that it's not published automatically. Your response to this might be, well, doesn't Joomla have similar features in the core already? And my answer to that is kind of. In the screen in front of you, you can see the default Joomla link, which is submit an article. And it does look similar to what you've seen before. But if you don't have Shack Article Manager installed, you're completely lost. All you can do is submit the article, and then it's going to be lost to you. What Shack Article Manager offers is one single screen to manage and organize all of your content. If someone does use the core submit an article option, yes, they will be able to send you content, but then it'll be lost. They won't be able to go back and edit it. They won't be able to go and see all their content on one page. That's why it's called Shack Article Manager. It offers one single screen where it's easy for people to submit content, manage it, modify it, update it, and really do anything they may want to do in the admin area of Joomla on the front end of the site. So really, for anyone who wants to use your site to create content without logging into the Joomla admin area, I highly recommend Shack Article Manager.